Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how to find the area of a trapezoid, an area of a kite, and an area of a rhombus. Okay, and I basically sketched those three out here for you. So this is a trapezoid. Remember the definition of a trapezoid. Basically, it has parallel bases, and these sides here are called legs. Okay, so this is a trapezoid. Now, the area of a trapezoid remember when you find area, it's capital A, is equal to one-half times the sum of the two bases, the lengths of the two bases, all right? So let's just do that. Times the height, all right? So let's make up an example here. <clears throat> let's assume that this height is something like 8. Let's assume that this base 1 is equal to 10, and let's assume that this base 2 is something like 12. You simply evaluate this particular formula, which means plug in the numbers and solve. Okay, so let's try that. So area is equal to 1 half. Base 1 is 10 base 2 is 12, times the height, which is 8. You're going to get 22, half of 22 is 11, 11 times 8 is 88. So the area is going to be 88 units, square units, depending on what the units are, okay? So if it was inches, it'd be square inches, etc., etc. So, <clears throat> Let's move now on to a kite. Remember the definition of a kite. A kite has consecutive sides are congruent. Okay? Not opposite sides, but consecutive sides. So this one and this one are congruent. This one and this one are congruent. Remember also that the connecting from one end to the other is called a diagonal. One end to the other is called a diagonal. So we have diagonal one and diagonal two. And the area of a kite is equal to one half the d1 times d2. So again, this is probably one of the easiest formulas that you'll ever learn. Actually, let me just go ahead and put trap as way over here. So we're just clearing what that is, okay? So there's trapezoid. Uh, this one's really pretty easy, and again, it just depends on what the numbers are. So let's again assume that D2 is something like 8 units. Let's assume that D1 is something like 4 units. So the area of this particular kite is 1 half 8 times 4. I actually just flip those around, but remember the commutative property lets me do that. So area is equal to 1 half of 8 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And again, square units. Okay? And again, that is the area for a kite. Now here's the bonus. This is called a rhombus. And remember that a rhombus has four equal sides. Okay? Four congruent sides, excuse me. And those diagonals also are called D1 and D2. And here's the bonus. The area of a rhombus is also equal to one-half... One diagonal times the other diagonal. So we probably won't even have to go through that, but let's just plug in some new numbers. Let's assume that D2 is something like 5. Let's assume that D1 is something like 3. We would get 1 half 3 times 5, which means that the area is 1 half of 15 or 15 over 2 square units. Okay, and obviously the area of a rhombus and the area of a kite have the exact same formula. Okay, I hope that was helpful.